and here memory allocation is not dynamic uh, with the files. Uh, dynamic in the sense. So if you are, uh, uh, I mean to say, the data grows. That is, in nowadays, uh, if you look into that uh, Facebook or Twitter accounts uh, and many social networking sites, uh, you can store some video files, audio files, some text kind of file, Word documents, all those things. So as the video files number increases, uh, the data, I mean to say the capacity of those uh, databases that are handling those uh, Facebook or Twitter applications uh, will easily accommodate the growing data. So here, uh, dynamically, the users of that uh, social networking sites uh, would be adding more and more and more videos and you are the or the database that is handling that application is able to accommodate space for all those videos dynamically such a dynamic memory allocation is not possible with the files then data retrieval and manipulation is very slow with the files whereas data retrieval and manipulation with the rdbms like oracle it would be faster because we are using sql kind of language which is uh, high in performance. Mm -hmm. Then the files provide very poor security compared to RDBMS. So RDBMS provide high security. And you can see the, and this cannot be shared with the multiple users and multiple platforms. If you write the color compose data, so there are certain limitations with uh, sharing the data. Whereas with uh, RDBMS, you can share that employee data or customer data by assigning some privileges to the users who are going to use that data. So you have some control on that. Mm -hmm. And here, supports limited information. So these wild files support limited information. Whereas RDBMS uh, supports uh, unlimited information. That's what you can see. You are going to add more and more video files on Facebook. Still, there are those databases are able to provide space for your video files. Mm -hmm. uh, then, so retrieving, so supports limited information. So retrieving the file is, is time-taking process. That is, retrieving data from file is time-taking process, whereas with RDBMS it is easy. And now we are going to look into the database. So the database, database management system, DBMS. So DBMS is nothing but the collection of information stored in one particular place. So we call it as a repository. So data is nothing but the raw material. So data is stored in the database and you process the data and you display the information. For example, the employee data is stored in the database and the employee data like uh, his name, last name, first name, his uh, experience, all those things. Now, you are going to represent the employee data in the form of information on a report. For example, you are going to look into a employee's uh, participant in various uh, activities, uh, maybe projects, uh, maybe some some uh, events have been occurred, and you are going to display a report uh, uh, where a particular employee has participated into various events uh, in the past quarter. So you are going to process and you are going to display that information. So information is the processed form of the data. Data is actually a raw material. Now, we are going to look into the database models. These uh, relational database management systems or the databases are actually uh, began with uh, the model sector. So, model is the structure of the data that is uh, stored in those databases. So, there are various database models like a hierarchical model, databases, network model and relational model. Relational model is very popular. So hierarchical model, these are developed in early 1960s. So only these and three are the models? I, I mean these are the popular models. Okay. So there are again various other models, uh, but these are, these were popular. 
So hierarchical models then uh, superseded by these network models and these relational database models are now the okay. present and very popular. Okay. I am just highlighting the important ones here. Okay, okay. So hierarchical models were launched in 1960s and they represent the information in the form of inverted tree like structure. So I told you model represents the structure of the data and you can see here uh, the inverted tree like structure. So there will be a root information, then there will be the child information at one level and at level two further child information. So like this the employee data or the customer data is stored in the form of a tree like structure in hierarchical database models. So with these database models there was a a duplicacy in data, that is data redundancy. So this was the problem with those hierarchical database models. And the example for this hierarchical database model is the IBM's information management system as an example. So the problem with that is data duplicacy. So after structuring the data, we can see that there is a duplicate data present in that structure. So when there is a duplicate data, then processing the data would uh, raise some abnormal issues. So later on the network model came into existence. So network model databases. These network model databases use a physical link to relate the information. So you can see here the various things. There are stores where you are going to store some items, then the customer data, the clerk's data, some employee data, some transactions made by the customers and clerks and the transactions that are made on some items. You can see there is a physical link in between those uh, things. So stores, clerks and they, they have connection where the physical links. So in network model, so the data is related with the physical links. So and what is the disadvantage of this is, uh, this network model databases will support only limited data, limited information. And no guarantee for the data if the data grows in huge size. So data is not guaranteed to store in this kind of model when the data is very, very, very huge. Mm -hmm. And the advantage here is they have removed the data duplicacy in this network database models. That is with hierarchical database models, there was data duplicacy. So that data duplicacy is removed in this network models. The examples are the FoxPro and DBase. These are the early databases, the FoxPro and DBase. And for Oracle, we can refer to Oracle Corporation material, some books here I have listed out. So for SQL, there is an official material released by Oracle, Volume 1 and Volume 2. Likewise for PLSQL also, there is Volume 1 and Volume 2. If you want, you can go for Oracle Complete Reference, a textbook, and Oracle PLSQL Programming, a separate book, and Oracle SQL PLSQL by some author that is Ivan Veras. So I prefer you to go through or to follow this particular book that is Ivan Veras. Okay. So which is illustrated in a simple language. Okay. Then we are talking about the relational database management. So here relational database. So information is represented in rows and columns. As I told you in the spreadsheet that is Excel, the data is stored in rows and columns. The same kind of tabular format is adopted in this relational database management system, rows and columns. Then intersection of that row and column is nothing but a cell visit. So in one particular cell, we can store up to 4 GB of data in our database. So let me show you that cell, it is Excel. So if you open it, uh, Microsoft Excel, you can see here, this is a cell actually. So here, this is the entire row and this is the entire column and the combination of row and column is represented by cell here. The highlighted portion is a cell. So in that one particular cell, you can, in RTBMS, you can store 4 GB of data, 
around three four movies you can show, and if you go to for a DVD kind, I mean uh, HD movies, you can store a movie over there. So here, uh, yeah, I mean very huge data can be stored in RDP, and with relational database management system, there is no physical link layer, physical link like network data. And there is no data duplicacy which was seen in hierarchical database models. And the relations uh, are maintained logically here. Then it supports null. So N U L L null represents nothing. Uh, we will be looking by example soon once we launch into that uh, Oracle environment and some executions. So the R D C elements are to support null. Null represents nothing. And our RDBMS Oracle also supports them. Almost all the RDBMS supports them, and supports some integrity constraints, some conditions. For example, uh, you are going to use the student data or employee data. You can put some integrity constraints over there. That is, you can have some conditions on that employee data. For example, uh, I am going to um, insert some employee records. Where I am going to uh, insert uh, the employees uh, that belong to one particular location. That is, uh, for example, uh, the Hyderabad. So Hyderabad is the location. So whenever I want to insert some data, uh, that is for employee data, the location should be Hyderabad by default. I can make it as a constraint over there. Likewise, for a for an employee, the salary. Whatever I am going to enter the salary for an employee it should be always greater than some twenty thousand. Then I can put some constraint over there that salary should be always greater than twenty thousand. By mistake, if you enter a salary less than twenty thousand, then the Oracle or any database will not insert that particular record. So like this, you can put some integrity constraints over there, some unique constraints, unique data only can be inserted, and nulls cannot be permitted. So such a Constraints you can pose on data, and these RDBMS provide high security, and they support unlimited data, and they supposed to store any type of information like numeric character, text kind of date time or date times, images, files, audios, videos. So all these type of data is supported by RDBMS. Then supports multiple users by multiple platforms. So multiple users can log into this RDBMS. And data manipulation and retrieval is very fast. So this RDBMS supports error handling, and here uh, the RDBMS or databases should follow the rules that were proposed by a person that is EF Card. So he has proposed some twelve rules, and uh, the RDBMS to satisfy it should satisfy at least six rules that were proposed by that EF Card person. And here I am going to show you the. The various versions of Oracle. So Oracle Seven version, then SQL Server is an example for RDBMS from Microsoft Corporation. Then Sybase, Infordata, DB2 from IBM, Ingress from TCX Company, and MySQL. Uh, Oracle is actually hired this uh, MySQL. So all these all these are examples of RDBMS, and here there are few examples of uh, DBMS. That is MS Access. Oracle DBase, Oracle 6.0. Uh, so all these are examples of database management system. We are looking into relational database management system, and you can see the Oracle versions here. So here Oracle 8.0, it was I mean 8.0, 8i, 9i, 10g, 11g. We are going to use 11g in our classes. And you What can is see the difference? Here, uh, Sorry, sorry to interrupt. What is the difference between these versions? Like, uh, uh, how, why, why do like it's just an enhancement they have some upgrades or? Uh, yes, yes, I they have upgrades, and they have started supporting Java language also. The okay. previous versions of Oracle did not support Java, and mm -hmm. they are supporting the grid computing, cloud computing, all those things. Okay. That okay. is, they can accommodate a huge size of data. Okay. And there are more more features uh, where the DBA would be using those features more, and we oh. at application level, uh, the 
the things which we are looking into, that is PLSQL or SQL, mm -hmm. uh, we are focusing on application development, that is functions, procedures, uh, triggers, uh, packages, uh, okay. then collections, and with the SQL, ANSI standard SQL, those joins, subqueries, then okay. the various data types, and the views. So the basic things which uh, an application developer uh, will use in his uh, runtime environment or project development will be focusing on those things. Okay. So and uh, these features, yes. So um, the features, like the new features with the uh, versions, doesn't really matter to us, or do they? No, as, being as, a developer. As, an up, as being a developer, uh, only very few matter. Okay. All right. If, but with, uh, for DBA, most of the things matter. Oh, okay. Because they are going to control the database. Okay, okay. All and right. here, all right. So here you can see 8i supports the Java software and 9i supports the advanced topics. That is renaming a table, renaming a column. All these are advanced features that were implemented in the upgraded versions. Then here, uh, so something I am talking about is the client server technology here that is in a network. So how these uh, requests are given to the server and the server is going to solve those requests. So generally the client server technology uh, that is various clients would be communicate, communicating to a server and these clients and server are connected via network. So client is used to send some request and server is used to process that request and give a response to that request. So here you can see server supports storing the information with high security. So those databases are stored in these servers and these client are nothing but uh, you can treat the browser as a client. So to surf the internet you use the browser and likewise such browsers uh, for surfing the internet uh, with Oracle you can create the client using the developer 2000. I don't know whether you have seen such tools or not. BC++. You can create a client applications using Java, .NET and when you get into Oracle, there are Oracle GUI tools, D2K we call it as, developer 2000 or developer 6i, the next version, developer 9i, the latter version. So Visual Basic, all these are the uh, technologies which is used to develop a client application. You can see the architecture here. So the server which is connected to various clients and server would be further connected to the database actually. So the client would be requesting some data, then server would fetch the data from the database server and give that uh, information to the client. And with Oracle, uh, there are ERP packages also. That is Oracle Financials and SAP. You can see SAP is an big enterprise e-business suite and there is such e-business suite with the Oracle Corporation also, we call it as Oracle Financials. So Oracle 11 i 12 are the uh, ERPs available from Oracle Corporation that give competition to SAP environment. And here you can see some uh, app clients that would communicate with the database using the connectivity. There is open database connectivity and GDBC connectivity, that is Java database connectivity. So here, these are separate mechanisms so that allow the client applications to connect with the databases. Um, so here, I have listed out the versions here. So Oracle 6 version, 7 version, 8, 8i, and we will be looking into 11. 11 version, that is 11G, and it is an express edition. 